I'd like to show you the guitar I write most of my songs on. But first, here is a small tour of my studio. Uh, this is the Darf Corner. I uh, pray to my uh, goddess here, the Darf. And uh, yeah, I got some cool stuff. My bass, bass amp. This is how I keep this area, you know, hot in the summer. I do have a, uh, an air conditioner. And um, this is my little couch for chilling. And I got some video games and whatnot over here my amps and the pedals that I'm currently using. Um, yeah, my little light up glow, which I enjoy a lot. And um, yeah, this is where I keep the guitars, along with some other guitars. And right here is where all, uh, it's basically like the mixing console and everything, all the, the, the DAW and the interface and everything, that all goes here. Got a lot of synths and, uh, you know, like synth toys going on here. Um, uh, don't mind the credit cards, they're all expired. Um, yeah, a lot of o OP, a lot of teenage engineering stuff here, along with uh, Korg Volka's um, preamp here, just to expand stuff. This is how I make my tapes, also do some sampling, can also uh, do some four tracking. This is my uh, M1 Mac, which does great as far as recording goes. And um, yeah, so this is my area for, for doing stuff. And then this is my um, 88 key uh, MIDI keyboard, which I use whenever I need to do piano work. And over there is actually where I do work for my day job. Uh, but this is the control room. And then I keep a plastic bag over my microphones. Um, these are the ones I've been singing into lately. It's a um, RE20 and uh, I don't know, some other one. But let me show you the guitar that, oh, of course, you need to have yourself a humidifier if you are going to have a studio in its own building like I do. But in any case, so um, this here is a Gretsch Jim Dandy, and I absolutely love this guitar. It is, it's really cheap, but so, it sounds so beautiful. So many um, different songs have been inspired by it, and it has ended up in quite a few recordings of mine so far. And so um, I actually pick this one up the most, and then I write a song on it, and then I, you know, play bits of that song, you know, on, I, I do a track with this, and then I also add other guitars and other instruments to that track as well. But uh, this has been, um, yeah, this has been one of my main guitars uh, since I've gotten it um, back in uh i don't know around november so great guitar um don't let the price tag fool you if it sounds good if it feels good it's a good guitar don't let price fool you